All right, today we have a SIGS flexible solar panel from Bouge RV. Let's open it up. All right, so right off the bat, the thing that I'm noticing about this is it's super thin. I haven't seen a flexible panel uh, this thin. I mean, that's like, feels like a millimeter maybe. Yeah, in the manual it says it's uh, 1.5 millimeters thick. <laughs> it can bend quite a bit without damaging these uh, cells here. And these cells are different. So these are SIG cells, which is copper, indium, gallium, selenide. All right, there we go. I got it up on my bench so we can take a closer look. Yes, yeah, so it's a very unique looking pattern here on the <laughs> cells. And uh, the little bus bars are like, look, look, look like little loops in there. Let's look at the specs. This one is a 100 watt. It says the max power voltage is 25 volts. The max power current is 4.01 amps. The open circuit voltage is 31.5 volts. All right, let's get right to it and let's put this out in the sun and hook something up to it and see how it's producing. All right, so I've got it laid out here flat on the concrete. And we're gonna hook it up to my anchor, C1000 over here. So let's see what we're gonna get. Here we go, here's the cable. Plug it in. Okay, we got some power coming in now. We're at 39 watts, 60, 77. Oh, 91. 95 yeah so we're getting 95 watts out of a 100 watt panel uh, I don't know I don't see that very often getting uh, you know still close to the rating of the panel so that's pretty impressive right off the bat now the other thing that's supposed to be awesome about these panels is the shade tolerance so these can tolerate shading better than your typical panel. So let's play around with that. All right, so I found a couple wood blocks here. I'm gonna place those in uh, spots on the panel and see what we get. Uh, let's take a, another look real quick to see where we're at before we do that. All right, I'm showing 93 watts. So let's put one block on let's do something like this right there now normally that on a typical panel would drastically cut down the production let's see what we're doing all right we're at 84 watts <laughs> uh, 80 yeah 83 84 so that's pretty impressive. That would normally be uh, pretty dramatic on your typical panel. Uh, so let's put, let's put another one on. Let's see what that does. All right, so now we're down to 71. All right, let's do a third. <laughs> let's try this quadrant right here is 66 watts wow okay so I'm impressed with the shade tolerance <laughs> all right so I got a larger shade let's try that let's see where we're at again with nothing on it all right we are at 95 96 actually so let's try to shave I don't know like one half of it roughly how about that let's see what that gets us okay that that gets us down let's see okay we're showing 10 watts 
Yeah, so to really bring this down in production, you really have to shade uh, a, a large portion. Let's try to move this over to something like that. Let's see what that does. Okay, there we go. 53 watts. Oh, 62. Yeah, it's okay. There's 60, 62, yeah. So 62. All right, guys. This thing's just been sitting out here cooking in the sun. I got derailed with a phone call. Uh, so I think it's been out here for almost an hour. And it's producing even more power. Look at this. Well, we're at 96. I just saw 97. There's 98. 98, guys. I've got another one of these. Let's throw it in. Okay. So there's two uh, wired in parallel. So let's take a look. 100 and I just saw 189 watts. There is 189 watts. 190. All right, I must say I am impressed with the performance of these six solar panels. I really like the shade tolerance. And I like the flexibility. I like how light they are. All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll leave links down in the description. Let me know what you think about these panels down there in the comments. And I'll catch you in the next one.